So we should now be confident with linear and quadratic inequalities. And now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this into a different type of problem where we're going to be solving something using quadratic inequalities. And that comes from the discriminant. Now, we looked at the discriminant back when we looked at quadratics. And we found that the discriminant could take on three different forms. The first was that the discriminant was greater than zero, in which case the curve would be, have uh, two distinct real roots. If the discriminant was equal to zero, then it had one repeated root. And if the discriminant was negative, so less than zero, then it had no real roots. So to set up a problem, you could look at a curve, y is equal to x squared plus kx plus 5, for example, where k is a number that we don't know. And then you could say, well, which values of k... So which values of k, or for which values of k rather, for which values of k does the curve have two distinct real roots? So we can identify the a, the b and the c from that quadratic. So the A would be 1, the B would be K, and the C would be 5. So if the B is K, so let's write those down, A is 1, B is K, and C is 5, then the discriminant, for it to have two distinct real roots, would have to be greater than 0. So B squared, so K squared, minus 4 times A times C, which is 5, must be greater than zero. Okay? So if we uh, simplify this, then we have k squared minus 20 is greater than zero. And then we'd say to ourselves, right, well, this is a quadratic. Where is this quadratic above the x axis? Okay? So we're going to need to make a sketch. So it would be crossing through the x-axis at minus the square root of 20 and positive square root of 20. Okay, you can put the equal to zero and then solve it that way if you like. So where is the parabola above the x-axis or k-axis as it should really be called now because we're not working with x? It's above it here and it's above it here. So we have two regions, so k is less than minus root 20, and k is greater than positive root 20. And that solves this problem. So what we're doing is we're identifying the fact that we're looking at the roots of a quadratic, which means that we have to identify that we're using the discriminant, if we're looking for two distinct real roots, we know then that the discriminant must be greater than zero. And then we can substitute the values into that and form a quadratic inequality that we must then solve. There's a number of steps to this type of problem, and this is the simplest looking kind of the lot. Okay, so we're going to ramp up the difficulty in the next few videos.